All right, today for Song of the Day, we're looking at The Four Ethers, or I guess it's just Four Ethers by Serpent with Feet. This is off uh, his first EP, Blisters. Um, it's produced by the Haxan Cloak. If this was Depressing Music Month instead of Depressing Music Week, we'd probably get to the Haxan Cloak sooner than later. They make like dark ambient music. Um, <laughs> I think my favorite thing with the Haxan Cloak is, uh, I saw this on Mew. It's like you you look for um, police radio scanner stream. I think they said that like Detroit or or some area that that has like a lot of kind of street crime is good to listen to. So you listen to the police scanner and then you listen to the hacks and cloak over top, and you basically make your own uh, God's Be You Black Emperor song. <laughs> it really feels like you're just listening to the apocalypse that the, the world is ending right before your your ears. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anyways, uh, so the Hacks and Cloak produced this, um, and they they flipped, as the term inappropriate <laughs> is in this case, they they flipped the sample of um, Ber Berlois, Ber Berlioz, I don't know how to pronounce his name, uh, the Symphony Fantastique. Um, this part of the Symphony Fantastique that they sample is from the movement where he, the, the protagonist, has tried to commit suicide by taking too much opium, um, but hasn't taken enough opium, and instead just has this nightmare where he thinks he's dying. Isn't that great? It's, it's a lovely piece. Um, it has this really kind of muted, distant brass, um, and this, this deep, deep, almost too deep to hear, booming percussion. Um, and it just sort of sounds like a march that you're you're seeing from a distance that's walking into an even further distance, um, kind of a, a totem tons situation, perhaps, um, that you're, you're witnessing death from far away. And it's it's just this beautiful, relentless, just bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum. Oh, 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 I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. it. feels like it's so deep within me when I hear it. And then over top of that, our, our boy Serpent with Fleet, Feet um, sings again about uh, his, his lover, um, uh, kind of an obsessive theme of both this EP and the album Soil. Um, and he, he comes at it from, from all sorts of sides, all sorts of different arguments, uh, all sorts of different stages of the relationship. Um, it's really beautiful. It's it's kind of like a, it almost feels medieval. Maybe it's just because I've been thinking about this, um, but it, it kind of harkens back to me um, to to kind of a, a real kind of old school romance uh, where you feel almost uh, supernaturally bound to someone um, that you feel like the fate has driven you together, and thus you you have to overcome any sort of obstacle, any sort of torture, any sort of suffering um, in order to remain together. So here we're seeing kind of the, the aftermath, you know, we've been listening to all this depressing music and talking about all this depressing stuff. So it's like, uh, well, what's it like for the other people in, in the lives of someone that depressed? Oh, guess what? It's miserable. <laughs> um, and, and this song has like a very interesting approach to it, that the, it's cool with me that you like to lie. I feel the depression filling up your eyes. It's cool with me that you like to die, and I'm not gonna stop you if you try. Like, what? How? How often is that message espoused? Um, it's it, this could lead to a whole gigantic ethical argument. Um, but putting aside from that, just just the kind of character that's presented here of someone who who has come to grips with their lover's suicidality. Who, who has fallen in love, perhaps, with even that part of them, um, and has accepted it, and has said, it's it's cool with me. I love that, but it's cool with me if you want to die. I, I, I can't even convey uh, how, how what, what kind of speaker m must exist to say something like that. Um, and from there, it, it segues into this, I think kind of hilarious, and and Super with Feet's music, I, I think, is really brilliant in how it constantly toes the line between tragedy and, and comedy. Um, that he's so self-aware, um, so so almost um, embarrassed by his own grandness, 
And yet, of course, embracing that grandness and, and bringing out the full drama and tragedy of, of this uh, romance. So that, I'm <laughs> saying, your name is about as easy to remember as the four ethers. And who the hell knows the four ethers? <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. That's, that's a funny line. Um, because it makes you feel like his name is elemental, that his name is is something that would have been scribed upon every um, medical textbook going back to the antiquities. You know, like 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 that that you uh, that that his presence in his life is inescapable. But it's it's the opposite. Who the hell knows the four ethers? So that it it has like the appearance of that that it feels like it should be that way, and yet, realistically, in your real life, who the hell knows the four ethers? Um, and yet, at the same time, your pain is about as easy to feel as the four ethers, and who can do without the four ethers? So, basically saying here that it's, it's all happening at a sub-intellectual level, that although I can't name it, although I can't understand it, although it isn't part of my intellectual life, the four ethers are still there. I mean, they're not really <laughs> coming from, you know, my, my rationalist, materialist, modernist perspective. They're, they're not really. But in this poetic sense, um, you, you can't escape something like that. The, the four ethers are still in you, and something that hurt, hurts you through an imbalance of the ethers is still going to cause you much suffering. Um, these lines are extremely haunting. I, I think this speaks to a much, much larger story that we don't really get on this album, which is fair because it's not even his story. It's the story of his lover, that his mother had you tucking your dick, had you hiding the shit that made you special. Show me yourself. Some, and, and the way that baby is sung here in this sudden kind of Operatic soprano register is, is again, it, it has this sort of flair um, that suggests drama and that in kind of a modern context, uh, that sort of drama is, is so removed from our media today. Who goes to the opera? Who, who's listened to the Symphony Fantastique recently? I, I haven't, not recently, just because of the sample I have. Um, <laughs> So it, it sounds so archaic that it almost you almost need to, to kind of parse it as comedic in order to even process it in the modern era, you know? Like that we only kind of encounter these things in parody. And yet the the conversation, even though again it's like colloquial language is kind of vulgar language, it's this bizarre marrying of the operatic and the vulgar. Um it it's so sad <laughs> the story that's being told is so sad of of a of a person who has become so uh, rejecting of themselves that it, that is suicidal that is dishonest um that they they can't even know themselves and they can't even show themselves to another that is sad that is such a sad little miniature character portrait that we're given here um and yet you know all of this this drama and this fantasticalness about everything around it i don't know man it's hard to put into words it, it's it really feels like the four ethers are swirling about you and and at the same time you you both can't name what's happening to you you can't you can't put analysis to the experience um, but you know it's real. You know that it's it's actually hitting you on all of these levels. And underneath, don't forget, it's still chugging along. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Um, the ending is beautiful. Really, really bringing out the vocal talents of, of Serpent with Feet. His, his voice is miraculous. I don't know how he does it. Um, it's, it's kind of a virtuosic performance here and yet it all feels so emotionally moved every shift in his register every elongated run on on a syllable feels like he he can't help but do it that that the the longing is so strong 
can't draw you no warm bath on the water. How can I touch somebody who won't even touch themselves? It's tiring to me. And and there's almost a little bit of I don't want to say selfishness, but but uh, self recognition here, um, which is sort of rare in this genre, in this sort of uh, star crossed lovers genre, uh, so to speak. If we're if we're running with this sort of analysis where we're casting this in a an, an old school romantic era light, um, that that in those stories, you know, Romeo is never like. I've had enough of this, <laughs> you know. Um, um, is the only example I can think of? What? What's wrong with me? Where's my Where's my Shakespeare knowledge today? But you know, you know what I'm saying, right? It would be unthinkable for him to be like, <laughs> you know, this is all a little much. But in real life, that's what actually what happens. In real life, people only have finite energy, finite patience, and and finite resources of compassion. It's sad, but it's true. Um, and so that when you're in these sort of situations, no matter how much you want to want to support someone, no matter how much uh, you feel it is your destiny, even your 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 fate to be in this romance, you'll also feel tired. You'll also feel like it, this is taking too much out of you. So he gives you so he gives his lover this sort of ultimatum here. He goes, "I'm fine with you being a liar. I'm fine with you being a killer. I don't know what this is in reference to. I don't know how literally to take that, but whatever." Fine with you being suicidal. That shit don't bother me none. But you gotta show me yourself. That that it, you you have to be present with me here at least. You know, it it can't be that you're suffering like this and you you have all this darkness within you. But it's all within you. You have to show it to me. You have to share this vulnerability with me and this this ugliness and, and this despair. Um, and that to me is actually a very beautiful message that someone someone is is willing to make these sort of sacrifices in a relationship and, and willing to reach out to someone like that. And that's actually very beautiful to me. Um, of course, you know, it would be nicer if <laughs> uh, they, they just were happy. <laughs> they were just happy together, but um, they, they can at least be sad together, I suppose. Uh... <laughs> But we know, you know, from other songs and other albums that it's not that simple. Um, yeah, man. Oh, this is a great, great, great song. Every time I just hear that, that Ber Berlose, Berlose, is that a pronounced his name? Berlose? Ber whatever. Just that, I think I, it must be like a euphonium. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's so good. Anyways, so check this one out. This one is um, really, really beautiful. I don't think it'll like necessarily make you sad. It only kind of makes you sad if you let it ruminate and haunt you and, and think about it a lot. Um, moreover, you should just be so impressed with how amazing a singer he is and, and how wonderful this production is and stuff like that. So. This is one I, I do kind of recommend checking out. I, I think uh, even if you feel like your mental HP is low, you might uh, enjoy it. Okay, moving on.